Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, if there's ever an app or a program I always recommend to uh, people just starting out in astronomy, it's Stellarium. Now, Stellarium is uh, just simply a 3D star chart, if you like, and it's a little, it's very similar to some apps that you may have already seen on, on maybe the web store. But uh, in my opinion, Stellarium's one of the oldest and still one of the best. Um, it has a zillion more options than a lot of the others that are available. Um, now, it comes, like I've just said, in app form, and it also comes as a program um, that you can actually download. And that's the one I would recommend you doing if you don't already have it installed on your computer. Now, it's totally free and it's totally 100% safe. So don't worry about that. And uh, and the great thing about Stell Stellarium is, it, like I've already said, it's got a, I mean, the, the, the program, the, uh, the the downloadable version, is <laughs> the options that are available to you are mind-blowing, really. It's amazing to say that it's actually free. Uh, but don't worry about it being overcomplicated. Uh, the great thing about Stellarium is it's one of those programs where you can make it as complicated as you want. You can take it to the level that you're happy with, if you get what I mean. It's so user-friendly. And uh, amongst one of the great of uh, hundreds of uh, useful little tools on there is today's subject that I'm going to talk about today. And that is the measuring tool. Uh, the, uh, the proper name, I think they call it the Andal measurement tool. Now, what's great about this and where it's going to really help you, um, in a lot of my videos, I'll talk about things being a degree apart, a certain amount of degrees apart, like maybe 15 degrees or whatever. Now, you can um, measure the sky quite easily with your hands. Uh, and I have done a video for you, um, which I'll leave a link to, of learning how to measure the sky with your hands. Now, where this comes in really useful is when you're using something such as Stellarium, and say you're looking for a certain um, deep sky object or something like that, or even maybe just another constellation, uh, because as you've probably found out, constellations look a lot different on paper than they do when you actually go out there under the night sky. You know, there's no lines joining everything up when you go out in the night sky. So having this little knowledge where you can find a constellation that you're really familiar with and then using the measuring tool, which I'm going to show you in a minute on Stellarium, you'll be able to find out exactly how many degrees away from that uh, constellation that you're familiar with is to the uh, target you're looking for. And once you've got the knowledge of that, obviously, I mean, I don't know uh, the degrees of everything, not unless I measure them. And I often refer to this measuring tool on Stellarium. So you go into Stellarium, you would measure this, say if it's 15 degrees, 10 degrees or whatever, you would then know how to measure that with your hands. So say, for example, you know where Vega is and you want to know how far away um, Deneb is from Vega, you could use this uh, technique of measuring with your hands. You can, you, you can even put your hands together in certain uh, things, because once you've got a measurement with one hand, you can obviously double it up with the other hand. And this will really help you so much when you're first learning, so you've got some idea of where to point your telescope when you're out there. You're, you're armed with more knowledge, if you like. So anyway, without further ado, what I'll do now, we'll have a quick look at Stellarium and I'll show you how you actually activate this measuring tool because uh, you, 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 when you first switch Stellarium on, uh, you, it's not there. You are, it's just something you have to activate and uh, not a lot of people know about it. So uh, anyways, here's how to activate activate and use the measure, measuring tool on Stellarium. Right, the first thing you're going to need to do to uh, use the Andal tool is obviously activate it because like I say, when you first um, download Stellarium, this won't be available. So to do, oh, just to show you where it is, if we open this bottom menu, that's what it's going to look like. You can see this uh, uh, little A shape on its side, if you like. Uh, this is the angle tool. So let me just show you how you, you uh, would get that. You go across to the left hand side to bring up your other sub menu and you want to go to the configuration window which is like a spanner or a wrench 
<laughs> depending on which side of the pond you're from and we click that and it brings up this new window now it's already highlighted the one we want we want the the one on the far right here plugins okay you can see we've got these other options here but it's the far right uh, this one here plugin so click that one like i say mine's already highlighted and um as you can see you've got all these uh, different options and our one the handle measurement tool that we want is second from the top okay so we click that now to activate it you can see down here there's a little check box so i've already got mine activated so it's already got a uh, tick there so just check that on okay and that is now activated your handle um, measuring tool so click this window off and what you'll find now is that it won't be there when you first try it um you'll think well i've just activated where is it what you have to do is um reboot the program basically i don't know why you have to do this um it's a little bit of a faff but i mean it's not hard to do is it and that just means closing this stellarium down by using uh, the power button there close it down and just restart the program and what you'll find then is your angle measuring tool will have now appeared okay so that's how we get this up so that, how do we use it so let's use uh, orion as an example why not um or round about this area of the sky it doesn't really matter so let's say you want to know how many degrees it is from Betelgeuse or Betel guys or Beetle, whatever you want to call it, to Sirius, say, for example. Well, what you do is you just go up to, let's bring it in a little bit further, just go up to Betelgeuse or the star you want, you click onto that, all right, you click and hold, sorry, left click on your mouse. Um, I tell you what, it'd be a good idea if we actually activate the measuring tool, wouldn't it, first? Right, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, you need to activate it first by just left-clicking on it once. So we'll do that now. And as you can see, my um, my, curse, my cursor has now changed. I can't remember how to get rid of... There we go. Get rid of that. You can see the cursor's changed to uh, an, an, an X. Uh, sorry, a cross, uh, more than a normal uh, cursor. So... What did we say? We said Beetlejuice. So we left click and hold and you'll see it'll bring out a line and you can see that it's saying an amount of degrees and that's how simple it is to use. We take that down to Sirius, let go and you can see that from Beetlejuice to Sirius is round about 27 degrees. Um, now, like I say, uh, this is just one example of many you can use this measuring uh, uh, tool for. Um, for instance, you know, how far is the Orion Nebula from um, uh, the belt, for instance? Yeah, uh, just this is just, I mean, even though this is a relatively easily um, uh, identified um, deep sky, it's still, you know, be good enough for this example. So we go to the middle star um, of the belt, we go down to roughly where the nebula is, you don't have to be precise. And that is, we zoom in a bit so we can see, whoops, I'll tell you what, let's just do it from the bottom up, see if we can see it better, there we can see it better from there to there, you can see it's 4 degrees, so the Orion Nebula is 4 degrees from there to there. Now, like I say, um, if you use your uh, measuring with your hands, this is so useful um for for finding things out you then transfer this knowledge onto the night sky with you measuring your hands and you're going to find things so much quicker um now um, another little great tip about this just to uh, stop you um, just to save time i suppose let's say we go again from you know you want to measure from different stars um let's go from rigel to beetlejuice right there from there okay now instead of just having to draw the lines you can see that's 18 degrees say maybe you want to now go from Betelgeuse to Sirius all you have to do now is instead of having to draw these lines is go over to Sirius and now right click and if you right click oh that's done Rigel to Sirius that's fair enough but you see what I'm coming oh it's the, from the first star that's right the first measuring star now to get rid of everything uh, you just press uh, your left click <clears throat> okay and that'll start you again 
So what I should have said from there, so Rigel to Sirius, we'll measure that again, just by using the lift click. And then say we want to know Rigel to uh, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse, we go onto it, we put the cross over it and we just right click, just like that and it instantly changes that measurement. So that's a nice uh, little user-friendly user um, extra um, on uh, Stellarium. Um, or on this function of Stellarium, should I say. I do like that. It does save a lot of time. So there you go, guys. And like I said, oh yeah, and uh, just left click um, on nothing just to take everything away. Um, oh, one more very important thing. Don't forget to turn this measuring tool off because when you want to start moving around the sky, you'll be doing this, okay? Because on Stellarium, to move around, you hold, you left click and hold and move the mouse. Well, this is going to happen all the time. So just remember to come back down and just click onto that measuring tool again and now Stellarium will work um, as it should. So there's um, just a little thing, like I say, um, I hope you find this useful. I certainly find this useful. I use it all the time. And uh, like I say, combine this with measuring the uh, sky with your hands and you really are onto a winner. So that's the measuring tool on Stellarium and as you can see combine this with the hand measuring it's really going to help you out so much uh, out there. I mean it's something I still use today um, quite often I'll be like this in the sky somewhere you know measuring uh, certain distances um, <coughs> because even though the amount of times I've observed the sky sometimes you can put the finder scope in the wrong place and when I actually do the checks I think oh yeah I'm an actual mile out <laughs> So it's easy done. So, um, and I've always said, use these techniques, always get into the habit of, um, if you are measuring this guy, do it every time. Don't get like overconfident because um, it will, it just helps you to do, uh, to just do it right. And, uh, you know, even if it's just this technique of, well, I know it's boom and there you go, you've measured the angle. And uh, like I've said before, as well on another video, always have your telescope at um, wh where um, you're going to be viewing um, before you do your measuring. Um, if I can get this round and show you, just to give you an example. Say, say we're there and I'm looking and I want to look there. Make sure that you, you, you do your measuring where the eyepiece is and hold your fingers up, say it's this distance, and you're holding up and you're measuring that way, then all you've got to do, you can keep your eye, say it's this point of the sky where you're looking, do it here at the telescope, do all your measuring here. So then you've only got to go here. Do you know what I'm saying? You, you, or on your, if it was on your finder scope, you can't see my finder scope, it's around in the back, but near your finder scope. It's no point in doing the measuring here and then going right, and then going up to your telescope. You see what I'm saying? You're just going to lose your bearings. So doing all these techniques correctly and getting into the habit of it is going to save you so much frustration and time. And you, as you already found out, by the time you've found something, usually the clouds come, have come rolling in. So we need all the time we can get. Anyway, folks, uh, that's it for another video. Uh, I really hope you try this one out because, um, like I say, it's, it really is useful. In the meantime, guys, go measure yourself some stars in the sky and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.